Before I go into the mess that is healthcare, I want to clarify something for all my fellow young people. Currently, thanks to Obamacare, we get to stay on our parents' healthcare plans until we're 26. So naturally, healthcare isn't something we think about. And I'm sure you've heard things from your parents like, I don't want to pay for someone else's health care. Well, here's the thing about health insurance. You already are paying for other people's health care. When you pay for insurance, the insurance companies bundle all of the money they get. And then when one of their customers have some massive hospital bill, they use that bundle of money to pay for it. Now, if we had universal health care, instead of paying money to insurance companies, you'd be paying it in taxes. Either way, you'd be paying money to help yourself and other people. Now that you know the basics of health insurance, I hope you're thinking to yourself, damn, we should just do universal health care. Well, that's what Obama tried to do. But lo and behold, the orange creamsicle in charge doesn't care about what makes sense. Some of you may have seen an ad on TV early in the summer in the Twin Cities stating why the GOP's health care bill is good for Americans. The ad even goes as far as to say that pre-existing conditions are covered. We've all read the articles listing the pre-existing conditions cut by the GOP, such as pregnancy and acid reflux. The fact is pre-existing conditions lie in the hands of the insurance companies. For now, insurance companies must offer insurance to those with pre-existing conditions. However, they can set whatever rates they want. For example, if a person with diabetes gets insurance, the insurance company will offer them insurance but can refuse to cover their insulin under the most basic plan, causing the person with diabetes to either pay as much money as the insurer wants for medicine or go without insurance. For reference, the Affordable Care Act prohibited insurance companies from denying coverage based on someone's pre-existing conditions, and that even the most basic plan had to cover pre-existing conditions. But the thing that irks me the most about this ad is the end. A picture of Eric Paulson pops up and the narration basically says, thank Paulson for giving you more choices and better health care. I'm not thanking anyone who refuses to meet with his constituents and won't even answer their calls. Paulson expects us to thank him for voting for this new health care bill because he's our representative. The thing is, he's not representing us, and he knows this. If he thought he was doing a good job representing his district, he'd hold a town hall to bask in his glory. I also think there might be a bit of a Wizard of Oz complex going on. If he shows his true face to us, we'll figure out that he's not the great wizard and actually just a plain old white guy behind a curtain. The sad thing is, it took CD3 this long to realize Paulson is not the moderate he claims to be. If you look at Paulson's voting record, you will see years of voting for ultra-conservative le legislature. The problem is, voters don't want to take the time to go digging for information about voting records. Believe me, I know I don't want to, but if we don't put the time into actually knowing our representatives, we end up blindly following someone who doesn't have our interest at hearts. Let's face it, Paulson follows the party, not our district.